Hi, so we just got finished talking about positive and negative space. So just to review, in a picture, so this is my example, this is a pineapple here, and the positive space is what we think of as the subject. It could be a pineapple, it could be a chair, it could be a person. Whatever your subject is, is going to be the positive space. The area in the background, and here it's in kind of a pink or a red color, is the negative space. That's kind of the background or the area behind. And I want you to notice, I'm gonna hold this kind of close here, how it almost creates a shape back in the back. When you think about positive and negative space together, it makes it easier to draw because you're looking at two things. You're looking at the shapes in the background and you're looking at the subject itself. And a lot of times we've learned to just look at the subject, but it helps to work on both at the same time. What we're gonna do today is we are going to start a project. We're not gonna finish it, but we're gonna start with our positive space. And here, remember, the positive space is the pineapple. That's the subject. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the subject and I'm gonna show you how to get started with that, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna need today is a white sheet of paper and a pencil. And what I want you to do first, and this part is really important and you may not understand why today, but I need you to put your name and class code pretty small in the middle or the center of your paper. Don't make it really big. So really small in the middle. I'm gonna write my name. Okay, and then your class code, whatever that is, with a circle around it, make sure it's small and in the middle. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip your paper over and we need to turn our paper up and down like this. And even if your shape that you come up with today or your subject that you're gonna do is not long like this, we need to make our paper like this because the way that we're going to set up our positive and negative space later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna think of a subject and it could be anything at all, but whatever you pick, it has to um, fill up most of the space, okay? So I want you to think of something that is white in nature, something that is naturally white. And because we're getting kind of close to the holiday season and I'm kind of feeling a little spooky, I think I'm gonna make a ghost for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go really close to the top and bottom, not all the way touching, but close to the top and bottom of my paper. So I'm gonna start kind of with like the head shape of the ghost and then its arms. Okay, and the other arm. And then I'm just gonna make it a little wavy, kind of down at the bottom like this. And I made him kind of skinny right here. I don't like the way that turned out, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fix it. If you make a mistake, that's okay. You're just gonna go back and fix it. Make sure you draw a light in case you need to do that, because sometimes we make mistakes. So I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna make him a little bit wider at the bottom like this. Okay, once you have your shape and you've got your shape on your paper, make sure not to draw anything on the inside. We don't want a face, we don't want lines, we don't want a design, we're just making an outline that fills up most of our space. When you're done, from the bottom of wherever your shape is to the edge of the paper, and I know it sounds a little weird, but you're gonna take one straight line, make sure it's straight, down to the bottom edge of your paper, okay? We are going to use this to create our positive and negative space artwork next time, but that's all we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you a few other examples of some ideas. You don't have to do any of these things. You can copy off of me if you'd like, or you can pick your own. Some other ideas is maybe if you did a pumpkin, that is kind of in the season, I like that. Don't forget once you've drawn out your design, you're gonna draw a line, a straight line, to the bottom edge of the paper and touching your outline. Another example could be like a cloud because clouds are white. A cloud, you would think of filling up the space going this direction, but it needs to go up and down. So I'm gonna draw my cloud and then I'm just gonna make that line that goes straight down to the edge of the paper. Whatever you decide to do, this one's really kind of complicated. We are eventually gonna have to cut these out. Now something like this is gonna look super awesome with all these legs and all these details. If you wanna try to do something like this and you want a challenge, that's perfectly fine. But remember, we've gotta cut this all out eventually. So 
Make sure that if you don't want a challenge that you make it simple, but if you're ready for a challenge, I'm okay with that. Don't forget to draw your line from the object all the way down to the bottom of the paper, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. And it's super simple, so take your time on it. Come up with a good design. When you're finished, I want you to go into Seesaw and take a picture of it and send it to me.